yeah. And now, our feature presentation. And at the end of the world of the wicked, the God must make himself known. Now, today, he has made himself known as it is predicted in the Bible that he would make himself known at the end of the world. Of this people, the end of the world I refer to is the end of the white race. They were given power by their maker, a Mr. Yacoub, to rule us for 6,000 years. This they have accomplished. And thus, about 50 3,000 or 4,000, pardon me, 53 or 54 years of grace God have given to them. That time was up in 1914. So it's been 53 years since 14. And uh, they have been given an extension of time, but they care nothing about that. As you know, the white man is more anxious to do evil to us. This free slaves than he is to any Vietnamese or any other foreign people. He watches us for a chance to do us harm. He seeks to provoke us to, to have an excuse for his evil intentions and murder of us. This we know all our lives ever since we've been here. We have known the white man to be like this. And today, he's made manifest. God has come in our midst and has made him manifest as being nothing but an enemy of the black man. Nothing but the real devil in person. And this, they knew, was coming. And they admit the truth that they knew it and they admit the truth that they are the devil. To now tell the so-called American Negro to uh, follow them and to not to teach hatred of them, nor that they should not love him. This is like the snake telling the frog to teach all the other frogs that uh, they should love the snake so that the snake can swallow all of them easy without even crawling after them. They'll come to him and reach of him. This is what he says. I was listening over the radio and TV. I saw it. Listen to it. That in Mississippi, that the white man indirectly want to want to join a little school out there of our kind of teaching a hatred of the white man. Let us take a look at the truth. If our people would take after knowledge of the white man, their children and themselves to love a race of people whom Allah has made manifest as being a race of devils or enemies to the black man and to righteous and justice. They would be inviting the wrath of God upon themselves and the same destruction that is in store for the enemy of God will befall them too. It would be real ignorant for me to say that I love the devil. I love the devil after the knowledge of the devil. It'd be real ignorant for me to say that. The white man in the pulpits of his church, he preaches hatred against himself. He teaches the people to hate the devil and not to follow the devil. He is not dumb to the fact that he is not devil too. But he don't think the world know him now. That's why. And if you... Uh, take him for a friend. The book say, the Holy Quran and the Bible teaches us that we will have our part with him in his doom and a lake of fire, which has been prepared for him. I don't 
say I'm excited over what is going on because it's written. Take the 81st uh, surah, chapter of the Quran. It clearly teaches us about the setting uh, on fire the cities. And this guy is going on. We can't stop nothing that God has planned to do himself. Now his prophets have prophesied that will come to pass. We can't make God and his prophets out liars. That's understood. But the deceiver uses deceiving tricks on those who do not understand the prophets' predictions of God's aims and purpose against the wicked. This people detects for a prey and blinds them and keeps them blind and, and will kill, if possible, all that will try to open their eyes to make them see. This, as you know, I'm a well-hated man by the white people in America. The world knows this, that Elijah Muhammad is a hated man because he teaches the black man the truth of the white man. And uh, the truth of the white man is ugly. It makes him to not be wanted as a friend or as an associate among the better societies of the people of the earth. So therefore, can we fought or try these brothers that go running around with a torch to set a building apart? Can we charge it to them that they are trying to do something that is out of the order or out of the prophecy of God through his prophets? Can the white saints themselves prove to you and me that this was not predicted to come? What I mean, the things that is predicted to come, we cannot prevent them. And they got to come to pass. And this trying to shield the truth, uh, cover the truth of these actions, that they are foretold, is only plain with the fire of God himself, who intends to make uh, public the truth of you and me today. All of us is being made manifest. He sets the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Great separation takes place. I've been teaching separation and not integration for a long time. For many <coughs> decades. This uh, uh, is like any other truthful thing. Uh, that of the truth of it will be made manifest and the characteristics of that thing. So... Mr. Hobson, I would say this, that the world of black mankind, I shouldn't say kind, the aboriginal black people, is awakening to the knowledge of self and want to be themselves. And the white man still wants to rule them. This is the hindering cause of the black man today. It is the white man wants to maintain his rule over them. When that is, time is out. We would not have no trouble in America or elsewhere on the planet Earth if it was not for the white man himself. For fucking people that want to live in peace and seeking to continue his wicked rule and power over them here and there all over the world. All right. So therefore, we are not surprised at what is going on because it's long past due. We want the world to know that we want to be free to do for ourselves without hindrance. 
If you notice on the last page of Muhammad speaks, the Muslim paper, newspaper, you will find a program there where that I'm asking for separation of our people in some part of this country or in the world or on the earth somewhere where that we can live together separated from our open enemies who are absolutely united against us to keep us subjected to their will and that uh, we must remember that if we want freedom if we want justice if we want equality with the nation of the earth uh, an equal member in their society we have to look for it among ourselves and not from our slave master. Our slave master is not going to give us no equal justice. It's not in their nature to do so. The slave master's children, I should have said, is not going to make us nationally and internationally Respect it. It is not in his blood. Look at the black man in Africa and Asia. They all in fear to him, and he wants to keep them like that. So the only way the black man can become self-independent, self-respecting, and demanding respect of others, he must do this for himself with the help of God, who came in the person of Master Rod Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever. This is the resurrection of the black man, universal. Not only we here in America should be united and stand firmly on one's purpose and aim for freedom, justice, and equality for our people, yeah, but we should be united all over the earth. It is not safe that uh, we should accept ourselves from the unity of the black man. That is the thing we should do. That is living outside of the sphere of America. We should have love and unity with our brother wherever he may be. The black, brown, yellow and red man. We should have unity with them. They are our closest kin. The brown, yellow, and red man. They are kin to us. Therefore, we should respect them as our people, and we all should unite together. So we have a very high program. We have a very uh, great and wonderful things appear to any nation on earth given to us divine. That is the wisdom of God. And when a man receives the very wisdom of God, he is put in the most highest place of any human being. And this is what God has brought. We, the lost and found members of the aboriginal people, of the earth, the black man, today. It is a superior divine wisdom that never was revealed in the past histories of the nations of earth that he is that given to us here in America, that we may become not the equals alone, but may in time become the superior. This we know all our lives ever since we've been here, we have known the white man to be like this. And today, he's made manifest. God has come in our midst and has made him manifest as being nothing but an enemy of the black man. Nothing but 
the real devil in person. And this... Oh, yeah. And now, our feature presentation. And at the end of the world of the wicked, the God must make himself known. Now, today, he has made himself known as it is predicted in the Bible that he would make himself known at the end of the world. Of this people, the end of the world, I report, he is to any Viet or any other foreign people. He watches us for a chance to do us harm. He seeks to provoke us to, to have an excuse for his evil intentions and murder of us. Who is the end of the white race? They were given power by their maker and Mr. Yacoub, uh, to rule us for 6,000 years. This they have accomplished. And plus, about uh, 53,000 or 4,000, pardon me, 53 or 54 years of grace God has given to them. That time was up in 1914. So it's been 53 years since 14. And uh, they have been given an extension of time, but they care nothing about that. As you know, the white man is more anxious to do evil to us, his free slaves, than 